Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about form styling properties. So let's get started. All right guys, so I've opened brackets and now inside the project folder, I'll go ahead and create a new file. And I'll save this as form.html. And I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag. And we have set the title for this page to a form. Now inside this CSS folder, let us go ahead and create a new file and save this as form.css. Now inside our HTML file, inside the head, we will include this form.css file. So we'll write link rel and we'll set this to stylesheet href and we'll set this to css slash form.css and now we'll open this in live preview now let's say we have a simple sign up form inside the body so let's say a header h1 sign up then we have a form and let us give this form an id sign up form now let's say we have a label for first name and we have an input tag and the type is text and let's say it has an id first name and let's say we have a max length of 60 characters so if we look at the output we can see we have a label first name and we have an input field which is for the first name and its type is text and we have set the max length to 60 so we can only enter 60 characters in this field now let's say we want all the labels inside this form to have font size 24 pixels so inside our CSS file we'll write form and since this form has an ID sign up dash form so we can write hash sign up dash form and we want all the labels inside this form to have a font size of 24 pixels so we'll write space and we'll write label and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and let's say we want to display it as a block element so we'll set display block so now if you look at the output we can see this label is taking up the entire width so it is a block element and its font size is set to 24 pixels and since we have set the display to block the input field is now starting from the next line now let's say we want all the input fields inside this form to be a block element and to take up the entire width so inside our CSS file we'll write form hash sign up dash form and since we are going to target the input so we'll write space input and we want them to be block elements so display and we'll set this to block and we want the width of 100% that is we want the input fields to take up the entire width so width set to 100% so now if we look at the output we can see this input field is now taking up the entire width that is its width is now set to 100% now let's say we have another input field inside our form so 
let us give this a label last name and let us give the input type and this will be a text and let us give this an ID last name and let us set the max length to 60 so we have another input field and this input field is of type text and we have set the max length for this input field to 60 so we can enter 60 characters max now let's say we want to give all the input fields a padding of 15 pixels top bottom and 10 pixels left right so we want a padding of 15 pixels top bottom and 10 pixels left right and let's say we want a border of 1 pixel solid hash 111 now if you look at the output you can see the labels they start from this point and end at this point but the input field though it starts from this point but it ends at this point so in order to make the input field end at this point we'll add box dash sizing and we'll set this to border box and if you're using safari then you can write dash webkit followed by dash box sizing and set this to border box and if you're using mozilla firefox then you have to write dash moz then dash box dash sizing and set this to border dash box and now if you look at the output you can see both the labels and the input fields they both start at this point and end at this point now let's say we want to give a bottom margin to the labels and let's say we want to give it a margin of let's say 10 pixels so we'll write margin dash bottom and we'll set this to 10 pixels so now we have a bottom margin for the labels and let's say we want to give a bottom margin to the input fields and let's say we want to give it a margin of let's say 15 pixels so we'll write margin dash bottom and uh, we'll set the value to 15 pixels and now if you look at the output we have a margin for the input fields and the bottom margin is 15 pixels now if we type something inside the input fields let's say first name i'll write my name yusuf and last name shakil you can see that the font size is very small so let us increase the font size for the input fields to let's say 16 pixels so we'll write font size and we'll set this to 16 pixels and now if you look at the output we have font size for the input fields increased to 16 pixels now let us go ahead and create two more input fields one for email and the other one for password so inside our html file we'll create another label and this will be for email and we'll create an input field and we'll set the type to email and let us give this an id email and let's say we want to set the max length 
to let's say 300 so if we look at the output we have another input field and this one is for email now let us go ahead and create another input field for password so we'll first create a label and this is for password then we'll create an input field type for this input field will be password and let us give this an ID password and we'll set the max length to let's say 64 characters so now if you look at the output we can see we have another input field and this one is for password so let's say if I write random at example.com and let's say the password root one two three and let's create a sign up button so we'll have another input field and this time the type will be submit and the value will be sign up and let's say we have another button and this one is to reset this form so type will be reset and let's say the value is cancel so now if you look at the output we have a sign up button and we have a cancel button now let's say we want to change the background color for this sign up button to let's say light green so inside our CSS file we'll write form hash sign up dash form input and within square brackets we'll set type equal to submit so we want a light green background color so we'll write the back ground dash color property and we'll set this to light green and now if you look at the output you can see the submit button or the sign up button is having a background color of light green and now let's say we want to change the background color of this reset button that is this cancel button to let's say hash ddd so we'll write form hash sign up dash form space input square bracket and we'll set the type equal to reset so we are targeting the reset button inside the form having id sign up dash form and we want the background color to be hash ddd so we'll write background dash color and we'll set the value to hash ddd so we now have a sample form and if we click on the sign up button it will submit the data of this form so if we click on it right now nothing is happening when we click on the sign up button this is because we don't have any code javascript code to handle the submit data in a real scenario we will have a javascript code that will take the submitted data from this form and it will then send that data to a backend server which will then do some work like creating the user in a database and then it will return back some response like sign up successful or user created etc so let's say we have another user let's say sample user 
and let's say the email is hello world at example.com and let's say the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and now if we click on the cancel button which is the reset button so if we click on this button the data that we have entered in this form will go away so if you click on the cancel you can see all the data is now removed all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we're writing in this tutorial series i'll put them in my github repository you'll find all the links in the video description so feel free to check that out and if you find this video interesting then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye